Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, where is the headquarters of WTO located? So it is in Geneva, Switzerland. That is the right answer. Now let's start today's session. First question is, with reference to marginal cost of funds based lending rate, MCLR, consider the following statement. Statement one, it is the minimum interest rate that a bank can lend at statement 2 it replaced the base rate structure so which of the above statements is are correct option a 1 only option b 2 only option c both 1 and 2 and option d neither one nor 2 so guys correct answer here is both the statements are correct so it is c both 1 and 2 mclr that is marginal cost of funds based lending rate refers to the minimum interest rate a bank must charge for lending it is introduced in april 2016 and before that we followed base rate system as we said this is the lending rate system and we know that the bank provides loans and this loans is having an interest rate and mclr and base rates are rates of this interest and base rate is also the minimum interest rate below which a bank cannot lend and in base rate what happens is every bank will announce a base rate that we are going to lend at this rate means normally bank will not lend below that base rate but there are exceptions for example if some schemes is brought by the government so bank will lend accordingly they may lower the interest rate from the base rate we are talking about general lending for general lending bank will not lend below base rate and what banks will do is that they set a base rate first then they set a lending rate for example for long term loans interest rates will be high for collateral loans interest rates will be low so depending upon the cases bank set a lending rate and remember this at any cost these lending rates never go below the base rate and for setting this base rate bank considers its deposit rates that is the interest given to the deposits in the bank the capital its profit many things they will take into consideration mainly the deposit rates and here the issue is bank revise base rate at their own will means if rb announce or lower the repo rate to make loan cheaper they won't do that because they rely on their profits and that sets base rate accordingly mainly as i said earlier banks will consider the deposit rate for this so for changing this RBI introduced MCLR in 2016 so it replaced the base rate so the concept of marginal cost is introduced in 2016 in economy marginal means it is the latest cost or recent cost so banks here talks about the cost of funds what is the cost of funds in the earlier regime it was deposit rate mainly that is the interest rate banks provide for the deposits in the bank so it is the cost of funds for the deposit here in the new regime in calculating mclr banks have to consider repo rate it is explicitly mentioned by the rbi and apart from repo rate bank has to consider now the recent deposit rate that is if a bank is providing loan to a new customer the bank has to set the lending rate on the basis of prevailing repo rate and the recent deposit rate earlier what banks used to do is that they set according to the average deposit rate and now they have to choose the latest deposit rate so that is the difference so mclr is more transparent because everybody knows what is the latest deposit and repo rate so they can calculate accordingly and now under mclr every bank has to announce its lending rate in every month so that is made mandatory by rbi and it has to declare five rates as in uh, for loans from one day to 365 days a loan rate will be there so likewise it has to declare five rates under mclr so in a way it will be more transparent fair to the borrower and also better monetary transmission to the society so that are the advantages of mclr 
now moving to the second question second question is vomi wet recently seen in the news is a option a pesticide option b medicine for malaria option c a cube sat and option d indigenous herbal medication so guys the correct answer here is it is option d indigenous herbal medication so it is an indigenous herbal medication a dewormer it is developed to treat endoparasite worms in the livestock it is recently brought by uh, national innovation foundation of india nif in form of commercial product for livestock owners as an alternate to chemical method of treatment of worm uh, so that was in news we'll now move to last question for the collab cad recently seen in the news is launched by one atal innovation mission two department of science and technology and three niti aayog for national informatics center nic so select the correct answer using the codes given below option a 2 and 3 only option b 1 3 and 4 only and option c 1 and 4 only and option d 1 2 3 and 4 so guys the correct answer here is it is option b 1 3 and 4 only collab cad is a collaborative network enabled and desktop cad cad is computer aided design so it is a software system which provides total engineering solution from 2d drafting to 3d printing so 3d printing or additive manufacturing is a process of making three dimensional solid objects from a digital file 3d printing has been used to create car parts smartphone cases fashion accessories medical equipments even artificial organs so this collab cad is launched recently by atal innovation mission niti aayog and the national informatics center in adult tinkering lab schools atl schools to provide students experience in creating and modifying 3d designs so that was in news and guys our today's quiz question is atal innovation mission is initiated by who so please post your answers in the comment section that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions Please post your scores also in the comment section. Thank you for watching.